I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at Stock Market Mentor. Uh, for the weekend of uh, April 13th and 14th, here's a free chart we're going to look at Diana Shipping. Uh, I've looked at this on occasion um, since Kramer first covered it back here on the 26th. And I'm still very bullish about this chart. What we're doing here is we're working off um, a, a real big, basically like a blow off. Um, but if you look at the weekly chart, you can see that the uptrend's pretty much intact. Um, so here's the thing on this one. The company does not announce earnings until May 21st. Okay, that's quite a while from now. Um, so there's really no foreseeable catalyst um, to impact this chart, um, technically. Uh, don't foresee a lot of selling. Uh, perhaps we'll see some buying. Um, the trend is up. That's the main deal here. The trend is up. 50-day moving average is trickling along here. So it's wrong to short this. Also, this has already occurred. I mean, this stuff has come and gone, and what, um, what's happening now is buyers are reaching up, they're grabbing the stock, which is why the stock um, is moving higher. Uh, but I think it's going to take a while for all this supply created by all these folks who bought at higher levels. They're going to be wanting to sell their stock. A lot of them will be wanting to sell their stock as it reaches up to break even. Uh, nobody likes holding the loss, particularly if you bought up here held for a really, really painful drop down here. What you're going to look to do is you're still holding the stock. You wish you weren't. As the stock trickles up, as more and more folks buy it, you're going to be more and more eager to sell it. So ultimately, you're going to sell. Once all of that selling has run its course, the stock will just continue to drift higher. So I still have a $14 uh, price target on this stock. That would really be my signal um, to take profits when the stock gets up here to about 14 bucks, which is where it was in uh, late 2010. Um, then that's what I would. That's when I would look to take profits on this stock. Until this, until that time, I think you got to just stay long, um, deal with some of the volatility like this, um, and just be patient. I think Diana Shipping is going to work. Okay, members, um, get to the uh, weekend update. Second video today, we're looking at several of the IBD 50 stocks, and then I've also got various stocks in other sectors that I think are long-term holds, the kind that uh, we used to be able to do, buy and hold, they're still out there.